Once upon a time, there was a little green running hood who lived in a house with her mom and father. One day, she told her mom she was going to grandpa's house, so her mom gave little green running hood a basket full of goodies and warned her. Careful of the warmth that roams the woods, my dear. If you find him, just don't talk to him and leave him alone. Remember, he's a stranger and you're not supposed to talk to strangers. But Little Green Running Hood didn't listen. She was full of curiosity to meet that mysterious wolf. After she got ready to go to Grandpa's house, she set off the long way to Grandpa's house, one mile away on the other side of the forest. While she was going through the forest, she found the wolf was hiding be behind the old oak tree. Good morning, Mr. Wolf. Little Green Running Hood said in a cheerful voice. Don't talk to me like that, said the wolf in a horrendous voice. I don't like your happiness. After they talked for a while, the wolf challenged Little Green Running Hood to race to Grandpa's house. Little Green Running Hood accepted the challenge. The only problem was, she didn't know the, has, the, how fast the wolf was. After hearing Little Green Running Hood say that, the wolf ran off and POW! The wolf was gone from sight. Little Green Running Hood got nervous and, and ran after him. What if I get late and, my, and the wolf eat my girl grandpa? She said in panic, what if I don't get there in time? The wolf ran and ran until he got to Grandpa's house. Then he got inside the old house. The first thing he did was eat Grandpa, but he didn't munch him. He just ate him in one bite. After that, he put the Grandpa's clothes and got in bed. After a while, Little Green Running Hood arrived and she showed the basket full of baked goods to Grandpa. Now that I'm here, how about a snack? She said cheerfully. Of course, my dear. I would love a snack of your delicious goods, said the wolf in a high-pitched voice. Right before the, the wolf could get a big good, little green run noticed something different about Grandpa. Wait a minute, you're not my grandpa, you're the mysterious wolf, said little green run. Then the wolf got out of the bed and started chasing little green running hood all around the house. I ate you, Grandpa, but I didn't have dessert. You'll be perfect on the menu, said the wolf, looking at his lips. Running Hood ran out of the old house. She ran across the forest. She ran home, but she had been chased by the wolf all along, and now she had led him to a feast. Ah, so this is where the Running Hood lives. Hmm, I will eat the father first for an appetizer. Then the mother will be the main course. And then the riding hood for dessert. After the wolf planned everything, she w he waited for it to be night. And then, when everybody was fast asleep, the wolf got in the house and sneaked to the kitchen and, and thought, I will make a delicious soy sauce to go with the family and started to cook. The wolf cooked all night because he didn't know where everything was and how to cook. For misfortune, he was there when the family came to, to the kitchen to make a breakfast. Ah, said the mother in horror when she saw the wolf standing in the kitchen. A wolf has broken into our house, said the father when he saw the wolf. But while the family was freaking out, a hunter came into the room with his gun loaded and shot the wolf. Then he grabbed a knife and opened the wolf's stomach and got the grandpa back. If you need my help, I live in the forest in a log cabin, said the hunter. Can you stay a little longer? Little uh, green running hood said and asked. Of course, and they ate the baked goods happily ever after.